Of course, we all know and love WhatsApp Web, but what if you want to use it without an active phone connection? At the moment that's actually not that easy, because WhatsApp hasn't released multi-device support yet. But luckily there is a way around it and that's exactly what I will show you in this tutorial. So there are two things that you will need and that's a Linux machine and your phone with WhatsApp installed. Which means you will still need your phone once, but just for the setup. After that you can throw it away. Just kidding, don't do that. In order to make that work we will actually be running a full Android system on your Linux machine. And that's possible by using an open source project called Nbox. We will be using Snap to install it. So go ahead and open a terminal window and type sudo snap install dash dash dev mode dash dash beta Nbox. Don't worry, opening Nbox for the first time will take a while. But once that's done, you have a full Android system running on your Linux machine. And there are even some apps pre-installed. Now you will need to go to whatsapp.com slash android to download the latest version of WhatsApp. To actually install WhatsApp, we will need the Android debug bridge. And we can easily install it by running sudo apt install adb. Now it's just a matter of using adb to install the apk that we have downloaded. To do that we will run adb install and then point to the apk that we have downloaded. In my case the apk is downloaded in the downloads folder. If everything went fine you should see success printed in your terminal. And in the background you can already see that whatsapp has been installed in our android system. So go ahead and open whatsapp. And now we will just need to set up our account. So go ahead and enter your phone number and hit ok to confirm. WhatsApp will now send you a verification code. I have protected my WhatsApp account with a PIN, so I have to enter that too. For some reason WhatsApp will ask you to enter a name on your profile. I'm not sure why, but let's do that. And that's basically it. You can now use WhatsApp on your Linux machine without an active phone connection. However, there are some limitations. So for example, you won't be able to use WhatsApp on your phone while you're using it on your desktop. That may change in the future when WhatsApp will release multi-device support. But for now you will have to choose between your phone or your desktop. You will also notice that all your private chats won't show up in the emulator. So you might want to consider importing your contacts. So let me know if this video helped you and have a great time.